Morning, Tidal Nation. Welcome to Sub-Zero Weather. So we got our board brief for Monday, October 26th. Warm up first, we got an eight minute AMRAP. Okay, so as many rounds as possible. Uh, keeping in consideration this is a warm up, so we wanna move with uh, some good purpose here. We got 20 jumping jacks, six 180 degree squat jumps, 20 second hollow hold, and five for the dudes, and three for the ladies, Russian push-ups. So a couple new movements in here that you might not have heard of. So check out the links on Sugarwad. All the stuff is there currently. All right. Then we got some skill work. Imam, every minute on the minute for eight minutes. Okay. Minute number one, we are going to do strict handstand push-ups. Um, three to nine reps. Good variation in there. So uh, should be able to get everyone's stimulus. Okay. Keeping in mind, we want about 30 seconds break. Now, minute two, we got a 25 second hold of a side plank on one side, and then a 25 second plank hold on the other side. Then we have our workout five rounder today, four time. It's gonna start with a 50 foot handstand walk, or three wall walks, or five inchworms, followed by 10 bent over rows on the left side, 10 bent over rows on the right side, and then 20 lateral hops over a dumbbell, okay? So let's go back to the beginning, uh, start breaking it down a little bit. So our eight minute AMRAP, we got jumping jacks. Uh, if we're not able to jump for any reason, we got a, a little bit of an issue with back or knee or something like that, we can throw in some mountain climbers, okay? Um, 180 degree squat jumps. Um, if we're a little bit newer, we're not sure what's going on with the squat jumps. Um, squat with a vertical jump after is okay as well for scaling options. Or something a little bit different is to do pause squats at the bottom for two seconds and really thinking about good posture. When it comes to squat jumps with a turnaround or squat jumps with just a vertical jump, we want to think of a few things while we're squatting. Neutral spine. Uh, and hip extension when we're jumping, right? We want to extend through the hip, be powerful, um, squeezing our glutes at the top. Hollow hold, we all know there's about 30 billion different variations, right? We can bring our hands down, we can tuck one knee, we can tuck both knees. Uh, we're looking for a 20 second crunch or some core activity. Russian push-ups. So there's a link to this, like I said before, um, very difficult. Uh, very high demanding on the shoulders, right? So check that out. If all else fails, we can do push-up negatives uh, or pike push-ups, okay? Moving on to our skill portion. Let me move sides here. So we got strict handstand push-ups. We're looking for three to nine reps. We're also looking for at least 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds rest between rounds. Um, and then we got side planks. Okay, so very uh, labor intensive on the shoulders for this portion of the skill work. If we get some handstand push-ups and we need to scale back, uh, we can do all kinds of things. We can do strict negative push-ups, pike push-ups, uh, nose to toes, feet elevated push-ups, and push-up negatives from our knees if we need to. So we got all different variations for scaling options for that. Side planks. Uh, side plank on each side, 25 seconds each side. If we're having trouble with just the RX version would be uh, both feet stacked on top of each other. We can put one foot out in front of us or one foot behind us, the top foot, to support us a little bit more. Or we can put our knee down, okay? But a couple um, things we want to think about is being uh, broad across the shoulders and the chest when we're doing the side planks and our glutes activated as well as our quads activated to make a nice strong position okay moving on to our workout so we got 50 foot handstand walk if we're if we don't have anywhere to walk and we're doing an at-home workout we have wall walks okay you're going to push yourself up the wall come to a good position of a nose and toes walk ourselves down the wall okay if you know your drywall's old and you don't want to put holes in the wall we have inchworms all right, um, respectively five or three wall walks, five inchworms. Focus on the inchworms, hamstring engagement, right? 
So only bend your knees when it's absolutely necessary when coming back up. Bent over row. So if we are doing bent over rows, let's make sure that our back is nice and flat and we're not doing too much of body English, AKA a kipping dumbbell row, right? We wanna keep nice and still, pulling that elbow straight back, um, trying to put that dumbbell in your pocket, right? So we'll do 10 on each side and then lateral jumps over the dumbbell. If we don't have a dumbbell, we can jump over an object. If we're not at jumping over an object just yet, we can pick a spot on the floor, um, put something on the floor, maybe a utensil. Don't stab yourself with a fork though. And then just jump over that as well. We're looking for a two foot takeoff, two foot landing. Okay, so if we don't have a dumbbell and we're doing an at home workout, uh, we can do some hollow holds again for our, um, sorry, our bent over rows. And then let's do that um, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest, and then another 30 seconds on for each side of the dumbbell row. Um, yeah, kitted out version for the workout would be five rounds of handstand walk 50 feet, 10 pull-ups and then 20 double unders, all right? So, good start to the week, good banger of a workout. Let's have some fun out there, guys.